everyone. This is Jules with DIY with Jules. And I've been getting questions and asking for tutorials regarding my uh, bronze plates and my bronze candle holders. Um, I'm going to show you how I did my bronze plates, the candle holders. That's another story, and we're going to have to do a complete video on that when it takes a little longer. Um, I got the idea from Tony at Our House Your Home. She is a designer who uh, does a party planning, I believe it is, and she made these beautiful plates for a party that she was um, putting together, and I liked the idea and decided to let me do it myself. Um, these are the things that you're going to need. We are going to need textured plates. I went to my local thrift store and found this one. You can go to the dollar store. They have pretty plates. I'm going to show you one that I did from the dollar store. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Then you're going to need paint, whatever design, what color you want to do. That's what you use. It all depends on you. You're going to need a brush and you're going to need sponge brushes. Very important. I'll show you why. And of course, you're going to need something to put the paint on and use gloves. I don't normally use gloves. I just keep a paper towel handy. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you're doing these types of designs on these plates, um, you're going to work your way from the inside out, which means the color that you want to see through the front of the plate is going to go first so that you can see it through the glass because we're going to paint the back of the glass not the front okay lay your paint out and make sure that you saturate your sponge as much as you can saturate it completely and for this um, of course the reason that I say you have to use a sponge is because you have to lay it over the top and you just got you have to get the ridges you're not gonna go in between you're just gonna get the tips of the ridges okay so you have to be very careful on how you paint it let me see if I can get it for you because if not, then it's going to go through and then you're not going to get that design that you're looking for. Now this is my bronze paint, but I actually thought about doing it in different um, pastel colors. I'll probably post that in a little bit. Now you start, let's see if I can get it, and you just get the tips. Okay, so I'm all done with the bronzing. Just be very careful when you're painting. Please take your time with it. Because you see here how I was doing it really fast for the sake of the tutorial. And some of the paint got in between the crevices. And you don't want that. If you're looking for an old vintage look, yeah, you can do it. And it won't matter. But if you want to get a nice, neat look, um, just take your time with it. Now, from this point on... You're going to use this uh, brush, the bristle brush, for the black paint. Now, um, you can use spray paint from this point on. For the other, you must use the sponge. The sponge makes it easier for you to go over all the pretty crevices, um, all the points of the plate, and not get in between the crevices. Okay? So I'll be back when that is done, and you'll see the finished product. Okay, so the paint is dry, the black paint. It looks matted. Um, that's good. It looks nice like that. You can actually leave it like that, but I like to coat it with um, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. It protects it and prevents it from damaging if it gets wet. Okay? You add one or two coats of this 
and your project is done. So I hope you enjoyed my DIY. Thumbs up, tell a friend, and thank you for coming to my channel, DIY with Jules. Bye-bye.